Developing tonight, the Missouri River nearing record levels near St. Joseph as floodwaters inch closer to homes. We have team coverage as the swollen Missouri River continues to drown interstates, fields and homes in our viewing area. Our team coverage starts tonight in St. Joseph with 41 Action News reporter Nick Starling. Nick, we know of mandatory evacuations in place there, but you went across the state line as people nearby are preparing for these floodwaters. Walk us through that. Yeah, Kevin, I'm here in St. Joseph, and these waters keep rising. This is also quite a spectacle for a lot of people coming here to the riverfront, taking pictures of the rising water. Now, parts of St. Joe are flooded, but it is the town across the river, Elwood, that is preparing to stop any water from seeping in. It's so difficult to watch as I cross the river every day. A river that expands every day, growing the fears of those who live here. It's hard. It's, it's a little frightening. Sarah Calloway is doing what she can to fight the flood. It's a bag of sand, but it's a much it's much larger than that because it's the people that it represents. It's these homes that are sitting here vulnerable, but more than that, it's the people who they belong to. She and dozens of others, including the nearby Rosecrans lift wing, are filling sandbags in Elwood to add height to the levee. We think we're in pretty good shape. We're holding water back and we're keeping the fight and we're not coming off. Elwood is under a voluntary evacuation and now looks like a ghost town. <laughs> Officials believe the levee will hold up and their efforts to keep the town dry will work. We would rather be, we'd rather err on the side of safety than not. Uh, if you saw what happened upriver, they evacuated too late. So what we want to do here is we want to We'd rather say evacuate and not have water in the town than have water in the town and it's too late to evacuate. Also on standby, this Kansas search and rescue team made up of firefighters from Johnson and Wyandotte counties ready to react if the levee breaks. Today we basically went house to house and plotted anybody that's stayed so we kind of know we've got a good idea of how to get to them if something happens. But what won't break are these volunteers determination to keep each other safe. We're still out here trying until they sound the alarms again to say, okay, this really for real now, you have to go. Um, we are still out here working together until the last minute. All those people who live in Elwood have evacuated places like here in St. Joseph. Now, I just checked those river levels right now. They're at 32.08. Now, the record is 32.1. So we're right there near that record. Reporting live in St. Joseph, Missouri, Nick Starling, 41 Action News.